what are the health risks of making a Risk Bites video? Is making online educational videos dangerous? Are there real health risks, or is it just academic ego that's in jeopardy? And just who does this Andrew Maynard person think he is? Hold on a minute, has somebody been messing with my scripts? Gah, oh, very clever. Risk is something that affects all of us. Quite often, understanding what leads to a risk and how to avoid it is not that clear. But there's some really cool science there. This is what I do with my research, my lecturing, my, my job here at the University of Michigan. So I thought, why not see whether we can convey some of this really interesting science in a way which is also interesting and cool and fun. So why not YouTube? So first I have to come up with an idea. I'll sort of brainstorm around a few things. I'll think about what's cool and interesting while I'm walking the dog or brushing my teeth. Throw a few ideas around and see what sticks. Nope. Boring. Ah, nanotechnology. Let's do the next one on nanotech. So sometimes I'll think of a topic while I'm working on something. Ah. Nanomaterials. That'll make a good one. Uh, sometimes a, a topic will actually come out of a conversation with a colleague. Concerned that the blood urea nitrogen isn't going to show damage to the kidneys. Wait, wait, wait. Brilliant idea. I've got to do a wrist bites on nanotechnology. Back soon. Sometimes the videos are a response to something that's in the news or people are talking about a lot. There's a fairly clear way that we can roll the science of risk into that. This week, how to destroy civilization with nanotechnology. Now we know what you're... Hmm. Maybe I should do one on potato crisps. And then there's the research process. Blimey, this is complicated. Then I write the script. So, Dave, ah. written that script yet? Uh, uh. Sometimes if it's an area I'm not totally familiar with, I may ask another expert just to look over the script, just to make sure all the technical details are as they should be. Hey, Ted, you just have a quick look at this script. I'm not quite sure about the science there. Well, actually, this isn't quite right. Uh, I, okay, that's probably fine. Thanks very much. Okay. The storyboarding can be tricky. It's really easy to overcomplicate the images, and that can very easily get in the way of the message you're trying to get across. Filming actually doesn't take as long as you might think. Five hours. Move over Steven Spielberg. Even the editing's pretty streamlined these days. I'm actually getting pretty quick at it. Hi, David. Oh. Have you finished editing that video yet? Uh, uh, not... Students these days. <laughs> and that's it, really. It's a pretty straightforward process. So it is a pretty hard fit in. I sometimes feel like I've got four full-time jobs, but uh, with uh, a little bit of streamlining and um, some rather judicious time management, it is possible. Exterminate. Andrew, you need to approve these faculty performance reviews. Just a minute, just finishing off something. Exterminate. Take that, you Dalek. Ah! And the Cybermen win again. Well, beyond the videos that we're producing every week, we're looking at pushing these out to as wide an audience as we possibly can. We're going through the usual social media channels, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, stuff like that. But we're also exploring some rather more innovative channels. Let's just say 
innovative. Thanks for the interview. Thank you. Back to the drawing board.